In this video, I'm going to take you through an Exodus Wallet update and tutorial. I previously created an Exodus tutorial probably about a year ago now, but since then there's been quite a few new features, so what I thought I'd do is take you through an update. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoy this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do check out my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. For me personally, Exodus is one of my favourite wallets. It's got a great design plus it's really easy to use, especially for newbies. Now just taking us to the desktop wallet itself, so it just gives you a quick snapshot of your portfolio and it's nicely split between each of the different types of assets that you have. You can also view the difference of a 24 hour change, your highest balance, your portfolio age and your best performing cryptocurrency in here as well, as well as your worst. Then underneath that you then have all the different types of cryptocurrencies, whether or not they are in your portfolio or whether or not they're not, and you can track through information in relation to those cryptos. So it gives you an idea of the current price, the change of that cryptocurrency, the market cap price, the balance, and if you have a value associated to that. Now just scrolling down, you can add more if there's one that you are particularly interested in, you can add more to this list. Now just taking us across it to our wallet on the left hand side. Now when we're looking at our wallet, you can obviously view different types of cryptocurrencies and we can look at the balance in there. I'm just gonna take us back to our Bitcoin wallet. So if you wanna send funds, we're just gonna click on to send. So you can put in the recipient address into the Bitcoin address here. So in here, you may be sending funds over to the likes of an exchange. So you may wanna put your exchange recipient address into this section. So you can simply place that into here, or alternatively, you can use that QR code and scan using a mobile phone. You then put in the amount of Bitcoin that you would like to send, or alternatively, you can either put half, which will obviously put in half of what you currently have in your portfolio or in your desktop wallet, or you can simply click into all. Then you'll click on to send. Now at the bottom of that, you can then see the amount that you're actually sending and it'll give you an idea of the network fee that you're paying in here as well. I'm just gonna come out of this screen. And if you would like to receive funds into your Exodus wallet, in here is your public Bitcoin address. So this is obviously the address that you can share with others to receive funds into this wallet. And you can simply click onto the copy button or again, you can scan that QR code. They have a couple of other options at the bottom here as well. So you can print the address, email it, or you can view it on blockchain. You'll then see all of your transactions that you currently have in relation to this Bitcoin wallet, which will appear in the bottom hand section here. What you can also do within your Exodus wallet is you can exchange. So just clicking onto that exchange button. So in here, we have the ability to exchange cryptocurrencies from one to another. So say for example, you would like to try out a different type of cryptocurrency, you can obviously select that from the list. So you may wanna exchange from Bitcoin, for example, and you may wanna receive BitTorrent. So in here, you could obviously put in the amount that you would like to swap across or exchange, and you, or you can clip onto all, half, or minimum. So there is a minimum amount that you can exchange across. Then it'll tell you how much you will actually receive in that cryptocurrency. It'll give you almost like a synopsis at the bottom here or a summary that then tells you the amount that you're exchanging, the amount that you're receiving as well. Then you can simply click on to exchange. Just taking us across to our backup. So in relation to our backup, you are provided with a 12 word recovery phrase. So do ensure that you do do backups of your wallet and keep your private keys private. What you actually recommended to do is to keep that offline Keep it somewhere safe like a safety deposit box or in a locked vault. I'm just gonna take us across to our settings which is in the bottom left hand corner here. So in here, very similar to how that we used to have before, obviously you can enable and you can disable assets. So this just allows you to obviously display less or more assets within your wallet. So you can scroll through these and you can add them if you wish. One thing to be aware of is that you will always have to have Bitcoin and Ethereum as the wallet does actually need two as a requirement. If I scroll down, 
You can see here that there are absolutely hundreds of different types of cryptocurrencies that Exodus actually support, which is absolutely fantastic. And they also support a lot of ERC20 tokens or Ethereum assets. So in here you can see you have a whole array of different types of crypto. I'm now just going to take us across to hardware wallets. Now in relation to hardware wallets, Exodus have partnered up with Trezor. So I'm just going to take you across to their site. So Exodus and Trezor have a hardware wallet experience. So you can track your Trezor portfolio performance with real-time charts and live market detail. You can also securely and easily manage over 90 Trezor supported assets within your wallet. And you can also exchange your assets without ever giving up control of your private keys as they're obviously still kept within your Trezor wallet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate tutorial for how you actually connect up your Exodus wallet along with your Trezor. So I'll put that in the top right hand corner. However, this is where you would have to go through and install your Trezor bridge. Another great feature that Exodus have released is their Exodus for mobile. So you can actually sync up your desktop and your mobile and you can exchange and send funds and receive funds on the go. Now I've actually already created a step-by-step -step guide and I've done a tutorial around the desktop and mobile cryptocurrency wallet of Exodus. So please do take a look at my website for that. You can also view the video, which will then show you how you can obviously send and sync up your Exodus wallet with the mobile app as well. So that was a very brief update of all the new features that are available with the Exodus wallet. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you do, then please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk or please hit subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.